to all of you. Um, how many um, in English and how many uh, news outlets in Spanish? So just raise your hand. How many in Spanish? Two and the rest three. So the rest is English, right? So we're going to do some English and some Spanish just like Mary did. And thank you very much, Tony Gonzalez and Mayor Diaz Bolard. Those are two champions. And I'm delighted to be part of this amazing group that is growing, as they said. Because, as I'm sure you know, with the Hispanics, the Latinos, the Browns, any way you want to call them, we are 23% of the population. We are the largest minority in the country. And thank God that we are very well and highly represented in the House of Representatives. And, and it's growing and growing. Um, um, Ronald Reagan uh, said at one point that Hispanics are Republicans. They just do not know it. And uh, now it's being proven more and more. We are God-fearing, law-abiding, want to pay taxes, uh, family-oriented, small government. And unfortunately, we have seen in the last years that this country, the system in this country, has gone from what it was to, like Mario said, to this left-wing policy that Hispanics reject. And that is why, maybe that's why, we are now IT, because we are not socialists, because we do not like the woke uh, policy because we are all very much more conservative uh, than many people thought, and that's why they voted with their values. So uh, I think that Tony Gonzalez is becoming a fantastic leader. He represents the Mexican-Americans, like he said. He is uh, in, a, in, a, in a district that is highly uh, Mexican, Hispanic. You are 70%, I am 75% uh, Hispanic, but I represent Cuban Americans, the Mexican, uh, the, the Nicaraguan Americans, the Venezuelans, those immigrants that come from other parts of the world, but that love and, and admire the American exceptionality. Uh, I just want to send a message to the news media, because remember that I was one of you for 35 years. We are very united. We're the Hispanic group, but we are not fighting against the other groups. House Freedom Caucus, we are all one party, and we are coming together, sitting at the table, discussing the issues, and reaching an agreement in, a, in, 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 in good spirits. So I don't want, we, we do not want to send the message that we are divided. We are very united. And the Hispanics are going to vote, and we're going to come to terms with what's good for the United States and future policies. So uh, thank you very much for being here. Um, we really would like to to send a message that, uh, that we are here to vote our values and that the Hispanic issues are very much important to us and that we're going to make sure that they will be voted on. So thank you very much. And I think now we're going to be talking to my wonderful dear friend, Nicole Maliasakis from New York. Thank you,